Keep calm and pray the Psalms for Saturday of the sixth week of Epiphany Tide. Tomorrow, of course, is Sunday, the seventh Sunday after Epiphany. Doors open at 9 a.m. I invite you to come. We will have design, divine service. The gospel reading for tomorrow is from Luke, the sixth chapter, the continuation from last week's, the second half, if you will, of the Sermon of the Plain, where Jesus says, love your enemies and be merciful even as your Father is merciful. Love and mercy then come into an ethic of law that seems impossible for us. Love those who hate us, well, only by the power of the Holy Spirit. But to say only by the power of the Holy Spirit isn't to put the question off, but is to reach out the hand to the one who loves us so that we can not only love our neighbors as ourselves, but most importantly, that we can love ourselves, which is where it all starts. So come tomorrow. Come receive the forgiveness of your sins. Come receive the very body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, given for you. Sing his praises. Receive his gifts. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 56. Be gracious to me, O God, for man tramples on me. All day long an attacker oppresses me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many attack me proudly. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? All day long they injure my cause, all their thoughts are against me. For evil they stir up strife. They lurk, they watch my steps as they waited for my life. For their crimes will they escape. And wrath cast down the peoples, O God. You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know that God is for me. In God whose words I praise. In the Lord whose word I praise. In God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? I must perform my vows to you, O God. I will render thank offerings to you. For you have delivered my soul from death, yes, my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, 
his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, graciously hear the prayers of your people, that we who justly suffer the consequence of our sin may be mercifully delivered for your, by your goodness to the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Again, tomorrow, Sunday morning, 9 a.m., Divine Service. Please come, know that you're invited. You have a good night.